what is geography geography basically comes from two words that is geo meaning earth and graphy means to write about something so therefore geography means to write something about the earth now if you have a look at our planet earth there is an interrelationship between two things first being the landforms that we see and the next is the human beings landforms means the mountains the plains islands valleys highlands etc human beings compromise of both social as well as cultural beings next if you look at our planetary system you will find that we have eight planets starting with mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune there is a small trick to remember this my very educated mother just showed us nature each of this starting word starts with the name of a planet m stands for mercury v stands for venus e stands for earth m stands for mars j stands for jupiter s for saturn u for uranus and n for neptune so this is an easy way to remember all the planets in a single line next if you take a closer look among all the planets let's come to our planet that is the earth now there are some interesting facts about the earth earth is the third planet from the sun it is also the only astronomical object known to have life only planet also known to have liquid water on its surface so water is found only on the earth it was formed about 4.5 billion years ago so our planet earth is quite quite very old next it is also known as the globe and also referred to as the world so if you find words like globe world it also means our planet earth next we have got imaginary lines on our planet earth they are called as longitudes and latitudes they are there to help us to get the exact location of a particular place on the map now if you see the longitudes first the lines passing from the north pole to the south pole are called as meridians of the longitude the most important longitude is called as the prime meridian in the same way we have latitudes latitudes are lines passing from the west to the east the most important latitude is the equator at 0 degree this divides the earth into two hemispheres that is the northern hemisphere and then we have the southern hemisphere in the northern hemisphere we have another important latitude called as tropic of cancer and in the southern hemisphere we have another important latitude called as the tropic of capricorn next the earth is further divided into continents if you see on this we have seven continents and five oceans let us look at the continents first we have north america south america europe africa asia australia and southern most we have antarctica we also have five oceans the arctic ocean the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the indian ocean and the southern ocean and you know the indian ocean is the only ocean to be named after the country india and we should really be proud of it this year in your ssc for maharashtra board geography you will be basically studying about two countries that's india and brazil first it is very important for us to understand the exact locations where india and brazil come in which continent so if you look the country brazil is here that means brazil comes in the south american continent and if you look at india here is our country india 
cactus comes in the continent Asia. So Brazil comes in South America and India comes in Asia. These are the maps of both the countries. The capital of India is New Delhi and the capital of Brazil is Brasilia. Here we have got the Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. Here we have got the North Atlantic Ocean and the South Atlantic Ocean. Next, this is the cover page of your geography textbook. I hope you all had a look at it. Here we have got various images. Do you all know what are these images? Let's go through them one by one. The first is the Shikara Lake that's located at Srinagar. The next are the Himalayas and along with that you can see the river flowing. The river which flows all throughout the year, perennial rivers. Next, yes, the national animal of India, tigers at Sundarbans, the world biggest delta. Next, we have got the Ajanta Caves, again in India. Next, the Atlantic Ocean coming in Brazil. Next, we have got the green anaconda found in the Amazon forest. Next, the carnival, a festival celebrated in Brazil. And the most important city, or one of the most populated city, Rio de Janeiro, which comes in Brazil. Next, on the back curve page, again you have got certain images. Let's go through them quickly. The first is the Naldurga Fort, which is located at Usmanabad in Maharashtra. Next, we have got the beautiful Arabian Sea, located from Mumbai. Next, we have got the fort, the Sihagar Fort, again located in Maharashtra. Next, we have got an Indian rocket. You know that ISRO is the organization that takes care of all the scientific things related to rocket. And the last, the most beautiful, the world's biggest forest, the Amazon forest, also known as the Equatorial Forest and the Amazon River flowing through it. Next, everyone will be having a question. Why is it that we are studying India and Brazil, not India and some other country? Yes, let's make things clear. Why India and Brazil, not India and the US? Here we have got the answers. First, when the book was formed, they had decided India and Brazil because they wanted countries which were located in different hemispheres. And as I told you, India and Brazil both are located in different hemispheres. You might have gone through the textbook, then you will see that India is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere, whereas Brazil is located in the northern, while most of it lies in the southern hemisphere, it is also located in the western hemisphere. Next, they both should be in different continents. So, as you know, India comes in Asia and Brazil comes in the South American continent. Next, they both should have natural and cultural diversities. We have seen that both India and Brazil have got natural and cultural diversities. They both should have a coastline. And yes, India and Brazil both have a very big coastline, about 700 kilometers. Next, they both should be a member of an international organization. India and Brazil both are members of an international organization called as BRICS. Thank you for watching. If you have liked the video, kindly subscribe to our channel that is the Navigators Education. And I promise you, I will give you many more interesting videos ahead of the entire SSE portion. Thank you.